going around the world, around the world with Rebecca. That's me. We're going around the world, around the world with her. Still true. The world is round, but we use a map because it's easier. So true. So let's go around the world to see how alike and different we are. To know that we all wish upon the same star. Let's go around the world, around the world with Rebecca. Hello, my friends. Can you believe she just does that Dude, off the top I'm, of her head uh, every you, week? You. you may think, wow. It's like the same words every week, but a little bit different. It's always a little bit different. And that's intentional. It is. That's it is. Because we friend. just don't mail it in here. <laughs> no. And that is true. We don't mail it in. Yeah. I, I know sometimes our product might seem that way, but no, but not your products. But oh, my stop. Products. No, but I'm just saying, like, the, the things that we offer you, like the Ethel Merman versions of Alice the Camel. That was good. Those are all really that was intentional. Good. Hmm. Well, my friends, my name's Miss Rebecca with the Shaler North Hills Library. That's Miss Ingrid behind the iPad. Hello. Um, and welcome to Around the World with Miss Rebecca and Miss Ingrid. Now, at Around the World with Miss Rebecca, what uh, what we like to do, what I like to do, is so we are here. There we are. We are in a suburb outside of Pittsburgh. And at Around the World with Miss Rebecca, we like to learn about all the other places because there's all the other people in all of these different places. And sometimes it can feel like, well, a lot of the times that, that you're where you are and you know the things around you and the people around you. And sometimes it seems like, well, that's just all there is. And it isn't. There's this whole big world outside of you. And it starts and it's kind of like a pebble in a pond. And it goes out bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So we just kind of like to dibble like dabble um, into other places. Because, you know, so we're here and we have beautiful brains and we have kind hearts and we probably maybe have fingers and thumbs and feet and kneecaps and hair and you know somebody here in Brazil also has beautiful brain kind heart and probably maybe fingers and toes and knuckles and elbows and hair and you know maybe painted nails maybe not but there's something that you just told me that made me think something for those of you who are at home and you are from Australia and you are a koala, <laughs> like for our koala oh audience, isn't there something you want to tell us about that, Miss Rebecca, for the koalas out there? Well, and I can't give too much away because the koala may feature prominently this summer oh, in I didn't a country know. we visit. Okay, okay. But it's okay. Did you know? That koalas have two thumbs and three fingers. I just, that blew my mind. It blew my mind, too. Now, wait a second. Do they have that? And I learned they that have from a national four geographic appendages. Reader. They have four appendages. Five. What do you mean? Two thumbs. Wait, what's no, the no. appendage? I mean, like, <laughs> arms, I mean, and like legs? arms and legs. Yeah. So does that mean that all together they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight thumbs? Good question. We'll find out later. Good question. Yeah. So, you know, I come with a tiny, tiny nugget of information. This and was then, like a summer preview. And then we just research from there. Yeah. Well, my friends, let's review where we have been so far this season and around the world with Miss Rebecca. And I used to zoom in, but now I feel like it's, now that we've really traveled, I think it looks really more majestic. <laughs> to, to the stay, wide the shot. The wide view, yes. We have been to Ireland, which I just read a fictional book about Ireland, but that took place in Northern Ireland, which is different. 
different than Ireland? Yeah, it's yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah. We have been to Ireland. We have been to Iraq. We have been to Nigeria. We have been to Ethiopia. We have been to Japan. We have been to Pakistan. We have been to, let me find it, Guatemala. Guatemala, that's right. Wait, hold on. One, two. Wait, one, two, three, four. Peru, five, Peru. Six, seven, eight. We yeah, have been to all these places. And my friends, today, we are going. Russia. Wow. I have to be transparent. This is the first country in which I have, I'm really looking forward to this for a different reason too, because I do think that I have a dualistic negative view about Russia you need to because of what the dualistic government. Means. Dualistic, dualistic means like you just think you have a tendency to think right, wrong, you know, black, white, yes, no, so much this, gray. that, and that, and there's so much gray, and I know that, and so I try to fight against that, but as soon as I heard Russia, because of the politics of Russia and the ways in which we have been impacted in our country by the Russian government, which I should say, because that's certainly not the people. And so intellectually, I know yes. that, that, you know, the people of Russia are actually like really warm hearted and kind and all different. And they have, they have two thumbs. I don't know if there are koalas in Russia. And they if they don't have two, have, that's okay too. You know, if they don't have two, it doesn't matter. So I'm really looking forward to this because I, I really wanted to open my heart and mind a little. Well, and I would like to just throw to you, just for you to have percolate in your brain. Yeah. You had mentioned Russia and its politics, which means government. Oh, yeah. And government shenanigans. If you think of Russia and its politics is just Russian is politics, how do you feel if somebody in Russia thinks of, oh, you're an American, whatever politics or government you have, that's you. Think about it. Ends. Okay. Russia. There it is. Join me, won't you? Russia. Same series, countries we come from. Mm -hmm. By Kevin Blake. Table of contents, which we have every week. Matryoshka doll. I love those. We used to have those. Oh. And it's so cool to think about every country we go to. We have similarities and we have differences, but really just there could be a kid or a whoever you are just like you in this other place who maybe likes the same things you do. Or maybe doesn't like some things that you do. Maybe has hair that looks like you. Or not. Maybe it looks totally different. And they have the same favorite book as you. It's pretty cool. And if you like soccer, you can bet that you're like most of the kids in the rest of the world. But is that <laughs> true in Russia? I don't know. Well, oh my shall we begin? Yes, let's begin. Sorry. Now, all Sorry. I know about okay. Russia is I watch a show called Deadliest Catch. Oh, where some yeah. people fish for crab, and they go up here someplace. Yeah. And they always talk about getting close to the Russian line. Be, and there used to be, and I learned this from my geology class in, in college, there used to be that uh, connector. That, when it was like connected. Pangea was breaking apart? Yeah. Which is but, another. But even like more, re and that's how people walked across. They fish in the Bering Strait. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's begin. Sorry, yeah. This is Russia, majestic, full of culture, and huge. It is huge. 
Russia is the largest country in the world. It spans two continents, Europe and Asia. See, there it is. More than 143 million people live in Russia and big giant statues. Hmm. Huge mountains run through the country. Russia's Mount Elbrus is the highest point in Europe. Much of Russia is covered by flat grasslands called steppes. No. There's a step. Step. But I don't want to call it a steep. Steepy. There are huge areas of forests in Russia. In fact, the country has more forests than any other country in the world. Wait a minute. Would that, would it be steep because of silent E? You, you tell me. I wonder be. if it is steeps. Because remember, when silent E comes at, but there's two consonants, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Russia has many different climates. In some areas, such as Siberia, it's really very cold. My cat is from there. I believe this is Siberia. I have a Russian forest cat, from a Siberian forest cat, and I call her Russia. The temperature can drop to an icy minus 89.8 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really cold. That's colder than this room. Well, let's not go that far. In other parts of the country, it's warm enough to swim, though. This is the Black Sea. This is Sochi. It's a Russian city on the coast of the Black Sea. The Olympics took place there several years ago. I mm. know. Russia has a really long history. For hundreds of years, mighty Tsars ruled. This is Catherine the Great, a Russian Tsar. They helped make Russia very powerful. Russian Tsars lived in a huge building called the Winter Palace. It's now a museum. And if you're interested in Catherine the Great, there what is a who was Catherine the Great that's really nice. In 1917, the Russian people got rid of the Tsars. Russia became the center of a new country Nicholas. called the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union was also called the USSR. It was made up of 15 states, including Russia. In 1991, the Soviet Union broke apart. Russia became its own country again. This is Boris Yeltsin. He was Russia's first president. Moscow is the capital of Russia. It's also Russia's largest city. More than 12 million people live there. This is St. Petersburg. It is Russia's second largest city. Most people in Russia speak Russian. Russian uses different letters than the English alphabet. This is how you write and say hi in Russian. Privyet. Privyet. Russians use the Cyrillic alphabet. See, but you know what it means. Crosswalk. Did you know that the first person in space was Russian? His name is Yuri Gargarin. Yuri Gargarin went to space in 1961. However, Leica, a Russian dog, got sent to space four years before Yuri. Russia put the first satellite in space too. It was called Sputnik 1. Russians love music and dance. Moscow's Bolshoi Ballet is one of the most famous in the world. Dancers leap to songs written by famous Russian composers. Folk dancing is also popular in Russia. Russians are also big fans of ice hockey. Mm. Some children grow up playing on frozen ponds. What? In Minnesota. The puck flies through the air. What other sports do Russians enjoy? Soccer, basketball, Soccer. and chess. There are many delicious Russian foods. People enjoy different kinds of pancakes. Russians also like salty fish eggs called caviar. Soup made from beets and cabbage is eaten on cold winter nights. I love beets, but that sounds not so tasty to me. What else is special about Russia? The country is home to Lake Baikal. It's the largest and deepest lake in the whole world. Mm. More than 28 million people visit Russia each year. And our mutual friend who's been around the world 
has been to Russia many a few times. Mrs. Crawford. When am I drawing a table blind? Rita Crawford. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. Well, Children's when librarian I, at Swickley. Years ago when I worked at the bank, the gentleman who worked next to me, he and his wife traveled to Russia. No way. On vacation, yes. Yeah. Fast facts. Okay. Capital city, Moscow. Population of Russia, more than 143 million. Main language, Russian. Money is the ruble. Major religion, Russian Orthodox. Neighboring countries include Kazakhstan, China, Ukraine, Belarus, Finland, Latvia, Poland, and Mongolia. Cool fact. Russia's most famous animal is the Siberian tiger. It's the largest cat in the world, just like the lake. Hmm. Capital, we now know. Now, what is a capital? We review every week. A capital is a city where a country's government is based. Climates, typical weather patterns in an area. Composers, people who write music. Continents, the world's seven large land masses. Satellite, a spacecraft that circles the Earth, and SARS, kings or queens of Russia. Fabulous. The end, my friends. And that is a little tiny snippet of Russia. So let's learn about another little tiny snippet of Russia. Soccer. Oh, and here's those countries. There's China bordering, Mongolia, Kazakhstan, Finland. There's little ones over here. Estonia, Latvia, Belarus, Ukraine. It's really cool to have a map, though, because sometimes you hear places if from super special grown-ups or the news or at school, and you think, where the heck is that place? Yeah. And it's always nice to have a map to be like, oh, my gosh, you mean that place is there? I thought it was here. Yep. And then you can kind of picture where places are more. Yeah. So that's just something. <gasps> Siberian tiger! The world's biggest cat. <laughs> By Mesh Goldish. I'm sure the cat doesn't make that noise. Maybe when it's a, a little, little tiny tiger. See another nonfiction book, another table of contents tells you where to go. If you wanted to jump right to Tiger Cubs, you would know to go to page 16. But we're not jumping. We're learning about these Siberian Tigers, my friends. Long and heavy. The Siberian Tiger is the biggest cat in the world. A Siberian Tiger is almost as long as two motor scooters. Wow. A male Siberian tiger can grow up to be 11 feet. It can weigh more than 455 pounds. Males are larger than females. Snowy homes. Siberian tigers live in very cold parts of Russia and China. They roam through the forests there. Deep snow often covers the ground, but that doesn't stop these big cats from getting around. Their large, large paws act like snowshoes, which keep the taggers from sinking into the snow. There's the paws. Siberian taggers once lived in Siberia, a large area of land in central and eastern Russia, as well as in northeast China. Today, Siberian tigers are also called Amur tigers because they now mainly live in the cold Amur regions of the Russian Far East. Look at how close Siberia is to Japan. Keeping warm. The temperature is often below freezing in the places where Siberian tigers live. Cold weather is no problem for the big cats, however. Their bodies are covered with thick, long fur, which keeps them warm. During the winter, a tiger's coat grows thicker and longer to keep the animal extra warm. Living alone. 
Adult mm. Siberian tigers live far apart from one another. Each animal needs its own area of land that is big enough for it to find enough food to eat. In the woods, tigers scratch the trees with their sharp, curved claws. The scratches tell other tigers, keep out of my space. A male tiger may claim up to 772 square miles of land for itself. A female may claim up to 174 square miles. That's so not fair. Why doesn't she get to have more? Maybe Is that a law? Maybe she doesn't want more. Maybe no. because she's practical and can just like yeah, this keep is, it all she locked need down. All okay. Finding <laughs> Calm down. Okay. <laughs> Finding food. Siberian tigers are powerful hunters. They roam the woods looking for large animals to eat. Even though they search mostly at night, they are still able to find their prey. Like all tigers, they see very well in the dark. They also have very good hearing. In the dark, Siberian tigers see five times better than people. Wow. But I guess if you're cruising around in the dark and even hunting, you need to be able to do that. See, I can't see it also. I bet they see many more times better than me without my glasses. Perhaps. Yeah. Quiet killers. Shh. Sika and red deer, as well as wild boars, are some of the large animals that Siberian tigers hunt. The big cat quietly sneaks up on its prey. Then it leaps on the animal and sinks its sharp teeth into the prey's neck. The tiger drags the dead animal to a hiding place and begins to eat. Once it is full, the tiger may not eat again for several days. After killing a big animal, a Siberian tiger may may eat up to 77 pounds of meat in one night. It then hides the rest of the food for later. Tiger cubs. A female Siberian tiger usually has one to four baby tigers or cubs at a time. They are usually born in summer or fall. The mother feeds her cubs milk from her body for the first two months of their lives. Cub. Mm -hmm. After the cubs are two months old, their mother starts bringing them meat to eat. On their own, mother tigers teach their cubs how to hunt. The young tigers are quick learners. By the time they are one and a half years old, they can hunt for food on their own. By age three or four, the tigers are ready to leave their mother and live by themselves. Each tiger can now start its own family of big cats. A baby Siberian tiger weighs only about three pounds when oh it my is born. gosh! In just two years? Just two years, it can weigh as much as 250 pounds. Wow. Tigers in danger. Mm -hmm. Because Siberian tigers are so powerful, other animals do not hunt them. People are their only enemy. They hunt the tigers for their fur, meat, and bones. Only about 400 mm. Siberian tigers are now left in the wild. Today, there are laws against hunting them. People are working hard to make sure the giant cats are able to live safely in their cold, snowy homes for many years to come. Siberian tigers are also in danger because the forests where they live are being destroyed. Some people cut down the trees so that they can sell the wood. The end, my friends. You know what's interesting? And I know this is true of all cats, but if you, friends at home, if you have a cat, you can absolutely tell on many of them that big tigers are are and are part of the same family. Because, like, I think about Those my are kitty. Cats. Yeah, they're cats. And I think about my cat, and she, whose name is Russia, because she's a Siberian forest cat, and she has the really long hair, like the Siberian tiger, and she has the same kind of markings, you know. And I just, I wonder, like, how closely related. The Siber like if, if the Siberian forest cat is any closer related to the Siberian tiger, they probably would be, huh? I don't know. I don't know. You could investigate that. We always start these wonderful journeys of imagination. Oh, we do, my friend. We do. Look for all we've been. We have one more country to go to in this season. And we know where that is. We do. Should we tell them? Cuba! Yeah, it's going to be cool. Yes. We went around the world, around the world with Rebecca, and we saw tigers and football.
footballers, tigers and children and women. Not so many footballers, more ballet people. But they do play soccer. But they love the ballet. That's true, they do love Hockey! Ballet. Hockey. We saw some hockey players. We saw some churches, too. Some people in Russia go to churches, maybe like you. We're not. We're not. We're going around the world, around the world with Rebecca. Still me. See you next time. Bye.